Hare Krishna, Jaya Radhe, Jaya Sham, Jaya Sri Vrindavan Dham. We are here today in the forest of Varshana, in this very secluded special forest on the hills of Varshana called Guvardhana. This is a forest that was planted by Srimati Radharani herself as a place for her and her cowherd girlfriends to take refuge after the day's chores and then ultimately later in the day to have pastimes with Krishna. It is a very secluded place, not known to many devotees, and as a result, it is very peaceful and reminds one very much of the old Vrindavan that many of us knew back in the 70s and 80s. The paths are all filled with beautiful deep sand that is very smooth to walk on. The trees are all full with luscious leaves that give great shade and shelter, and there's a breeze flowing through that has so many fragrant flower smells to it. This is a very nice place to come and to remember these pastimes of the Lord that took place here. We are fortunate with our Kartik Parikram to be able to bring so many devotees to these places of Krishna and experience the pastimes that we've only read about in the books of our Acharyas and Srila Prabhupada. It was the desire, as we all know, of Srila Prabhupada, the devotees would regularly come and visit these holy places to become surcharged and recharged to go back to the West and do their services. More importantly, discuss with the devotees the activities going on here. And this brings great joy to everyone's heart. We're all very happy to come here and talk about the pastimes of the Lord in the actual places where those pastimes took place.
one nice thing about this forest as given to us by Prabhu Bhananda Saraswati is that the trees themselves are special personalities and their leaves are not ordinary leaves, but they're actually emeralds. And that the vines that surround these trees are actually the wives of the trees. And that the flowers that come from these vines scent the air and decorate the body of the divine couple and their associates. One who comes to this forest is guaranteed to find great peace and satisfaction in their heart and in their mind as they remember the pastimes of the Lord. So these trees are very special trees in this forest. Many of them are ancient old wood trees said to be over 5,000 years old. Because they are planted by the hand of Srimati Radharani herself, if one embraces these trees, hugs these trees, and places all of one's desires before these trees, these trees have the ability to fulfill those desires. So the devotees, when they come, they hug these trees and place the desire for devotional service before them and expect this to be filled with great eagerness. This forest here at Varshana is only one of the many places. Atop the hills in Varshana, we will see the palace that Srimati Radharani grew up in from the age of three until the age of nine or ten when she married her so-called husband, Abhimanu, and then moved to Yavit. Here atop this hill, we will see the palace that she grew up in, the wonderful view that she would have seen every day of the village below, and so many other wonderful attractions here that we can find the different hills that the demigods manifested as to be able to witness these pastimes here in Barshana. And we're very grateful to Sri Vrindavan for always welcoming devotees to come and relish the beautiful golden sands, which are more valuable than the finest of jewels. So from here at Barshana, taking the dust of the Dham and placing it on our head, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.